Hi, I'm back. Let's play number two. And if you are astute, you will notice that I'm on a different character. I'm actually on a little server that I'm running from home. And I might be joined by Pfau, who is one of the core devs. I just need to turn down my... Game sounds a bit. There we go. Uh, but he's gone AFK, so if he comes back, I will pause and then continue with him. Otherwise, I will continue playing. So I have a hammer that I found, and I'm going to use it to bash this pig. Um, so yeah, I made a new character for this server, and I've just been on a mad slaughter fest, killing all the animals I can find in the vicinity of the village here, and now I'm level 9. Okay, I found Velarite Fragment. These... Uh, small runes sparkle on its surface. Right click that and you get XP. Yay! So I'm gonna head out of town down this way. And I'm gonna kill creatures that I find. So the hammer is, is quite stationary and slow. But nice damage. Uh, I also have a battered sword, which is a two-hander sword. I'll put that on, and the next creature I come across, I'll show you how it works. So, I'm coming over here because there's a cute little house over here, and there's a few of them generated in the world, and they're pretty, and sometimes they have treasure inside. Ooh. Let's grab these. There's a giant Tarask. I'm not going to mess with him because he's big and scary. Let's run down here. I'm checking the trees as I go for chests in the trees. Okay, I'll, I'm sorry, but it's your time to die. So you can see the, the broadsword attack is much more active, jumping around all over the place. Not doing as much damage as the hammer, but I get hit less, I think. I'm more agile. Um, let's put the hammer back on. Hey, there's a chest. Is that one too? No. But you, I see you. Simple longsword. Let's try that, see what it's like. Um, about the same as the other broadsword, I think. So, so it's possibly a cosmetic choice. choice. This one is shiny. Oh, more Valorite. And level 10. Yay! Go me. Sometimes it's difficult to pick up these mushrooms. And you can see the house just in front here. Oh, mushroom. I'm stocking up on food because I'll be going into the dungeon at some point and that'll require 17 million food. So here's this little house in the woods, and there's a chest. Um, damaged greatsword. Yeah, it's okay, you can still see power. So the sturdy old hammer power is 10 to 12, and then all of the 200 swords are 2 to 10. Uh, this is pretty. Um, and I also, I have it on good authority that if you find a house, and there's one chest in there. Chances are there'll be a second chest somewhere. Um, sometimes I've heard they hide in this in the chimney, but we can't get into this chimney because it's there's a tree on it. So we're not going to do that. I'm going to kill this owl instead. And nicely, every time you level up, uh, you get a bit more health. 
and your health all regions. So it's a good way of saving on, you know, eating food. If you're about to ding, you can just kill something. Let's get this lizard. Oh, Scepter of Regeneration. This heals your allies. Um, I did try it. You can apparently use it on creatures that you've tamed. Um, and I tried it and it didn't seem to work. Maybe I was doing it wrong or maybe the regenerate is, is a bit slow. I'm not sure. But uh, apparently that's the only way in game right now of healing the creatures that you tame with the collar. Um, Otherwise, you can level them up because they will also recoup all of their health when they level up. Um, I'm going to keep going down this way. Oh, lots of mushrooms here. Let's get you guys. Mine. Mine. I did want to show you my new mushrooms that I'm putting into the game. I was going to play on that branch, but there's a problem with the branch where when I equip my weapon, it crashes. And I'm not sure why. Um, apparently, it's the crash is nothing related to assets, or it's nothing I've done. Maybe it is something I've done. Nobody knows. But as soon as that's fixed, then I can show you. Okay, there's some higher level creatures here. Let's kill these. Die, ratty, die. Do -do 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 -do. A nice XP from that. I got four collars on me. Um, but I don't want to use them because I will be going into a dungeon eventually, and they have trouble following you down the dungeon stairs. Oh, I'm close to leveling, but I think I'm gonna... Let's see, eat an apple. There we go. Chomp, chomp. Let's see what else we can find. Uh, the closest dungeon, I think, is up this way. You can see, or if you can see on the mini map, there's a mountain in front of me. And just the other side of that is a dungeon. Let's get this eagle. Flying mobs don't fly yet, so. Green worker should, I've already got that. Okay, I'm going to do some inventory sorting here. Get rid of that. This is a magic staff that I found. Um, a null rod. It smells like resin and magic. I think it does fire damage. Um, I don't want that or that. Keep one hammer. Keep one axe. And I've got this shirt. So I'll throw that. There. Pooping out bags. Littering the countryside. And there's a giant uh, tuskram. Ooh, sheep. Good target. Level seven. Mm, this will make me ding. Where's that cat? There must be a tunnel underground here. Interesting. Yay, ding. Not sure what I got there. It'd be nice if they added in um, the ability that you get a little notification when you pick an item up. Uh, because right now you don't know what you're picking up. You have to check your... Ugh. 
worker you have to check your inventory and sometimes it's something you already had and then you don't know what it was uh, like that it's probably a piece of food okay it's getting night time let me see if I opt myself in the server correctly uh, Yay! Phenomenal cosmic powers. Well, I'm still kind of too low level for the dungeons. Uh, there are giant bosses and uh, giant creatures in there as well as normal creatures, so they go from about level 30, 30. And they will kick my backside. But I can pop my head in and show you what they currently look like. So this is the very pretty water. I got my view distance quite low right now because it's on the server. But I really like the water. Shiny. And if I remember correctly, some of my new phones are in this area. Sabretooth Tiger, that's a good mob. That was another axe. Oh, and another great sword. Do not want. There's my fern. Oh, and there's one here. Curly ferny. So I can see the dungeon on the mini-map now. Uh, the map is tiny. But it's right in front of me, to the north of the map, kind of in the middle. It's a brown splodge on the map. Um, if the mic is sensitive enough and you can hear a strange squeaking sound, that's the cat next to me snoring. chest up here. Ugh. Boring. I'd like to get some different gear. Um, as I mentioned previously, the gear right now is all cosmetic, apart from a couple of things you can get from the cultist leaders in the dungeons. Uh, there's no stats on anything. Jumping for apples. La 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 la. Another nice big apple tree. I think I can. Ooh. Yes. Okay, a gentle giant human there. Leave them be. Ooh, there's a chest. I see you. Yay! Purple linen chest. Okay, let's assume the cloth changing position. So, this is the green worker shirt. This is what I started, which is a rugged shirt, and the one I just found is a purple linen shirt. That's cool. We'll keep that on. Purple is good. Uh, there's the dungeon just up ahead. So the dungeon entrances all have different styles. This one is kind of tree-based. Get this part. Make him an ex parrot. There he goes, pining for the fjords. Let me check that and check that. Also, I have a spade in my inventory, but they don't do anything yet. 
It's exciting though. Look at this paid before. Digging up treasure. Digging up artifacts. Archaeology. We shall have to wait and see. Okay, so this is the dungeon entrance. This one is like a vine covered stone building. I'm going to put my lantern on because they're dark inside. Now, prepare to vomit. Wee! All the way down. Yay! Okay, if you stand next to the wall, the camera clips and you can see things going on outside and see the lower floors. So, let me get to full health. So the mobs in here are hostile. They will attack you there. And I'm gonna run back this way so that I don't go into that room and aggro more. Gosh, these ones are so annoying with the jumping around. And I guess it's the same thing I'm doing, but... Ha! Nothing really there. Mushrooms. Pull my sword out. Pull the next one. This is a big room. Jeez. Oh no. Just deal with the magic user first and splash damage on that other one that's attacking as it runs past. Yay! And leveled up. Ooh, coconut. Put the lime on the coconut. Scepter of Regeneration again. So this is the dungeon. I'm not going to go all the way down because I'm too newbie. I'm going to go back to the surface. So there are passages that offshoot. Uh, you can see there's... Oh, fine. Let me do this because there's one little mob in here. I will get you in your slowpoke hammer with my fast, fast broadsword. Oh, 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 eat a food. Oh, no. Where did you come from? How dare you? When you eat, you sheath your weapon, so you'll have to draw your weapon again after eating. Which I guess is legit. Okay. And then, so you have chests scattered around. You can also find the... Uh, Valorite uh, nodes on the ground which give you XP. In fact, that might be one. And there's also mushrooms. Ah, this is the way down. So, some of the one passage on each floor will lead to a staircase where you can descend. And you go down and down and down until you get to the bottom, and then you fight the big boss. Then you get fat loot. Then you win. Yay! Okay, let me make you all vomit again, running back up to the surface. I tend to not move the camera at all doing this and just control the character with Usad. WSAD. Going forward and sideways and backwards. And it's less uh, disturbing movement. All the way. Round and round the dungeon steps. Yay, fresh air. Okay, I think that'll do for today's episode. Uh, tune in next time. Maybe by next time I'll have some new things I can show you. That'll be fun. Bye.